in today's video we're going to go over the best solo builds for every single type in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. With the 7 star Terror Raid seemingly taking a break at the moment in the game, it seems like a good opportunity for us to have a collective of solo builds for every single type to make beating 6 star Terror Raid super easy in the game. We're going to cover a total of 22 Pokemon in today's video and yes that's more than the 18 types that we've got in the game but there are some tricky raids that you can come up against in particular things like Corviknight, Annihilate, Amoongus and Don Dozo. so we're going to cover some extra builds to kind of make sure that you've got coverage for those so when you're going in to farm six star terror raids in your game it's going to be easy for farming Herba Mystica, the level of candies or any other item that you're going to get from six star terror raids. Now each of these builds is going to have a set criteria each of them is going to have the ability to debuff the raid boss as well as set up their own stats to maximize the damage that you're going to be able to do and speed the whole process up making this a really easy process to beating these six star terror raids which can be quite difficult at times and throughout the guide i'm going to go through the exact details of how each moveset will function as well as talk you through the ev spreads as well as all of the details the items and everything like that all of the details though will be linked down in the description below every single build that we feature in today's video will be linked in a poker piece so you can go into that in a bit more detail and have a look at that if you want to after reviewing the video as well as everything will be chaptered down below so if you want to jump to a specific type you can do that in the play bar which will make it a lot easier for finding specific things that you need for six star terror raids like i said we've got 18 pokemon that are going to cover every single one of the 18 types Types that we've got in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and we'll start with one of the best builds for water type Pokemon it's a very solid build this one and it is featuring Vaporeon of course it is a water type we have that water terror typing the item of choice here is the shell bell item because we do need a line of recovery with Vaporeon and that's quite an important thing you'll see a common trend throughout this video today we do need a line of recovery it means that you're going to be able to set up debuff the raid boss and stay on the field for a lot longer Longer. so that is a really important thing of course as well the more you get knocked out the more it chips down at that raid timer which kind of makes it very difficult sometimes to kind of complete the raid so every single pokemon that we do feature as well is going to be level 100 so i won't have to repeat myself but level 100 is the kind of standard for your raid build so you want to make sure that you level up your pokemon to that point water type water terror typing on this one shell bell is the item we have the move set of acid armor calm mind fake tears surf and an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack you can cater your ev spreads to be specifically in one defensive stat but because you'll be taking on a variety of different special and physical attackers it's best just to put that ev investment into the hp so it kind of gives you the best coverage when you're going up against these raid bosses and we have a modest nature as well just to maximize that damage output from the vaporeon because it is primarily a special attacker the basic premise of this moveset is going to be try and get your acid armor off maybe just one acid armor if you are going up against a strong physical attacker turn one then go for your three fake tears fake tears is going to lower the special defense on the target pokemon by two stages every time you do that so you want to maximize that get it down to minus six then get about two to three calm minds up and then start attacking the terror raid boss now you are going to have situations where you come across raid bosses where they do nullify their stack drops on their side of the field and if the shield is up fake tears is not going to be able to work through the shield so just bear that in mind but then you can rely a little bit more on your calm minds just maximize your stats it is going to boost your special attack and special defense by one stage every time you use it so just rely on that while the shield is up once the shield is broke you can then revert back to going for those fake tears and then just use surf as your primary attacking move but a very reliable pokemon very good defensively and going to have a nice damage output as well when it's combined with that fake tears and the combined boosting from the vaporeon so this is my choice water type raid boss solo build 
in the game. Next up is a familiar face. It is Appleton. We have seen it recently used against the Chestnut 7 Star Terror Raid event, and it did an incredible job against that. It is a Grass and Dragon type, and we have the Grass Terror typing on there with the Expert Belt as the item, because we do have a line of recovery with one of its move options, so we can kind of free up that item slot on here and just maximize our damage a little bit more with that Expert Belt. Again, level 100 with a move set of Sunny Day, Apple Acid, Growth, and Giga Drain. We have an EV spread on this one of 252 Special Attack, and I would advise you to go for 252 HP, but you can, like we've mentioned before, maximize one of those defensive stats if you prefer to, if it helps you against specific raid bosses. We've got the ability ripe in here, uh, but it doesn't really matter too much with the Appleton because we're not really relying too much on the ability in this one. So the basic premise is to go for those Apple Acids as soon as possible. You are going to be reducing the special defense on the target Pokemon on that raid boss by one stage every time you use it. So you're going to want to use six of those in total. The nice thing about Apple Acid is it works through the shield as well. So if that shield does go up, you can still reduce that special defensive stat on the raid boss by one stage every time you use it. And then alternatively to boost yourself up, set your sunny day up and then rely on growth. Now growth will give you an attack boost and a special attack boost every time you use it. But if the sun is on the field, you get plus two rather than plus one. So it cuts down the amount of turns that you're going to need to use it, meaning that you can boost your special attack up to plus six and then reduce the special defense on the toggle Pokemon with Apple Acid by minus six and then just fire out those Giga Drains, which is going to do huge damage. And also at the same time, it's going to give you a line of recovery so you can stay on the field once you have kind of got that set up in motion. So that is the Appleton and your grass type. The next one is going to be our fire type. And for this one, I'm picking Armor Rouge. So Armor Rouge, a fire and psychic type with the fire terror typing, of course. Shell Bell is the item choice, level 100. And we have the move set of Clear Smog. Calm Mind, Acid Spray, and Flamethrower. We have the ability Flash Fire on here, which gives you immunity to fire type attacks if you're worried about that at all and then an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack with a modest nature to maximize that special attacking output so the basic premise of this one is going to be to acid spray that reduces the special defense on the toggle pokemon by two stages every time you use it bear in mind it won't work against steel types because it is a poison type attack so if you're coming against steel terror type pokemon you can't really rely on the acid Acid spray too much you'll have to rely on that calm mind which then boosts your special attack and special defense by one stage every time you use it but in combination it's going to be a potent strategy for taking down terror raid bosses the clear smog on there can be changed for something else but i do like the ability to remove the stat boosts on the raid boss if they are using combine themselves or if they're using anything to boost their stats which might maximize their damage you can just remove those stats and that does work through the shield as well and then you've got flamethrower once you are set up you've used those three acid sprays to minimize the special defense on the target Pokemon. You've used about three to four Calm Minds yourself to maximize your special attack. And then you can just fire off those flamethrowers. And once you terrestrialize, you're gonna be able to maximize that damage completely and have no trouble against a lot of terror raid bosses that are gonna be weak to fire type attacks. Next up is our ice type for this video. And yes, I could have went with something like Ice Rider Calyrex, but not everyone has access to those legendaries from Sword and Shield or other legendaries that we're now able to trade in from Pokemon Home. So a nice reliable one that you can get in the game right now is gonna be Glaceon, a really good pick as well. Very good defensively, uh, has that ice terror typing. Of course, we've got the shell belt on it as usual for a line of recovery. So we can just keep on the field for as long as possible. Level 100 with a move set of Snowscape, Calm Mind, Fake Tears and Blizzard with an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack with that Snow Clock ability and a modest nature. Basic premise of this moveset is gonna to be to get those fake tears off as soon as possible. That's kind of the primary thing. Reduce the special defense on the target Pokemon on that raid boss by two stages. So get three of those off, then start calm minding. Once you've kind of got your setup going, 
then launch your snowscape that's also going to give you a defense boost because you are an ice type as well as making blizzard 100 percent accurate you've got a freeze chance on there as well and once you've got that kind of combination set up between the fake tears and the calm mind you're going to be doing ridiculous amounts of damage which is always very good and on top of that once you can terrestrialize with the glaceon you're going to be doing really good damage to any of those ice weak pokemon a really favorite pokemon of mine and i think a nice build to go in with if you're wanting an ice ice type to take into raid bosses next up is going to be our rock coverage and it is going to be iron thorns a big pick here because it has got the ability to lower debuff the defensive stats on the raid boss as well as boost its own which very few rock types in the game actually have access to so we've got the rock and electric typing which iron thorns is terror typing is going to be rock shell bell the item and level 100 and the move set is going to be electric terrain screech Soul Stance and Rock Slide. So an EV spread on this one of 252 HP, 252 Attack with an Adamant Nature. And we have that Quark Drive ability as well. So the Electric Terrain works quite nicely to not only activate the Quark Drive, it gives you an attack boost, but it also gives you that protection against sleep moves. So things that have Yawn, things that have Spore are going to be really handy to get around with that Electric Terrain. As long as the Electric Terrain's on the field, you're not going to be susceptible to getting put to sleep which is really good to start off with you're going to want to go for those screeches it's going to lower the defensive stat on the target pokemon by two stages every time you use it so you want to use it three times then use three swords dances it's going to boost your attack by two stages every time you use it and then take advantage of that big powerful attacking rock slide move which off your big attack and after you try slides, you're going to be ripping through anything rock weak in these raid bosses so a really nice build i think as well and has everything that you kind of want in a solo build going into these raid bosses next up is a ground type and it is going to be ursa luna and it is a ground and normal type we have the ground typing on it as it's terror typing we've given the item flame orb but you can interchange this for a shell bell as well if you want a line of recovery because i feel like that's the one thing that you do miss sometimes with ursa luna especially with this set that we've got that we are running level 100 it has got an adamant nature 252 hp 252 attacking evs and then with that guts ability as well which plays off the flame orb in particular it is going to give you an attack boost and immunity to any status conditions once that flame orb activates and the gust boost kind of plays along with that as well so the the move set that we've got is belly drum layer drain punch and headlong rush uh, the belly drum is going to be the thing that you're going to try and get off turn one in particular uh, so you maximize your attacking stat it will cut your hp in half so the next turn is probably advisable to go for something like a drain punch try and get some health back and then you can utilize the layer it's going to reduce the defensive stat on the toggle pokemon by one stage every time you use it and then you've got headlong rush which is going you be your big ground type stab going into these raid bosses which you're going to be re pretty heavily relying on uh, but like i've said an adam in nature 252 hp 252 attack and then the flame orb as the item on the ursa luna with that ground terror typing next up is a familiar face and it's going to be a psychic type and it is going to be slow bro probably one of the more reliable pokemon that you've got access to in the games we do have level 100 you can change the item here can be expert bell can be life orb can be shell bell even if you would like it to be uh, but leftovers is a really reliable option as well just to give you that recovery every turn while you are setting the slow bra up it is going to have that psychic terror typing and a move set of slack off iron defense nasty plot and stored power now you can change iron defense out from amnesia it is another move that it does get access to so if you're more preferably going into a raid that's a special attacker then change iron defense for amnesia and vice versa if you're going up against a strong physical attacker then you can use iron defense over amnesia to boost the defense stat rather than the special defensive stat slack off gives you a line of recovery so while you're setting up if you are low health you can use that when required uh, but the basic premise is to use that iron defense three times boost maximize your attacking stat or if it's amnesia maximize your special defensive stat then go for those nasty plots 
which is going to boost your special attack by two stages every time you use it and then utilize stalled power and uh, stalled power works off the amount of boosts that you've got the stronger that attack becomes so the fact that you're going to be able to utilize that especially after your terrestrial you're going to be doing big damage whilst also boosting your defenses you're not really going to be taking much damage from the terror raid boss at all uh, we've got an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack with a modest nature and we have the own temporal ability here the ability can be interchanged it doesn't really make too much difference on the slow bro but a very nice build nonetheless and a solid solid psyche type for you to go in and beat six star terror raids with pretty easily in your game Next up is our electric type and it is going to be one of the box legendaries from Scarlet and Violet and it is going to be Mariadon and it is the electric and dragon type Pokemon with the electric terror type and we're going to have the shell bell item on here uh, but you can go with something like expert belt as well because we do have a line of recovery or an option for line of recovery in this level 100 as always and a moveset of electric terrain metal sound charge and electro drift now I do say that you can change the item shell bell to an expert belt or something like that but you're gonna have to go with a parabolic charge over the electro drift so this is why we've got the shell belt on this specific build uh, we have got the ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack and a modest nature basic premise of this set is going to be when you come onto the field with the hidden engine you're going to have that electric terrain set up the electric terrain option there is if the electric terrain does run out and you want to reset it up especially because it does like we've already mentioned give you nice immunity against spores things like um sleep powder spore uh, yawn and things like that it can make these raids quite annoying if you don't have a way to get around those so just being able to set that up again throughout the battle once it does uh, fade from the field after five turns is a really nice option to have now the first thing you're going to want to try and do is get metal sounds off it reduces the special defense on the target pokemon by two stages every time you use it so use that three times then go for a charge and then fire off those electro drifts the nice thing about electric terrain it doesn't only uh, give you immunity to sleep moves but it also boosts the power of your electric type attacks as well so electric drift is going to be doing some big damage as well with that shell belt item uh, that it's holding it's going to give you nice line of recovery every time you do some big damage to those raid bosses so a really nice option all together um, and a very strong option if you've got one in your game to take in against electric weak pokemon and our bug type choice for this video is going to be low ticks. i really like this and it does fall into that criteria where it's got a good option to reduce or debuff the stats on the terror raid boss as well as boost its own stats as well it's got a unique typing obviously bug and dark but the terror typing we've opted for for that bug typing is bug uh, shell bell as the item of choice of course we've mentioned for that line of recovery level 100 and we have the move set of taunt screech sword stance and leech life now you can go with something like the expert belt here if you prefer to but it does maximize that health recovery um alongside leech life which does restore 50 percent of the damage that you do so if you want to maximize damage here then be my guest to switch on something like an expert belt or a life orb if you prefer to shell bell is just a bit more reliable in this scenario so the moveset basic premise of this one is going to be to taunt should stand the opposing raid boss setting up uh, being disruptive with any kind of status moves or anything like that and then you go for those three screeches we've covered this before it reduces the defense stamp by two stages every time you use it so three of those boost your attack up with the sword stance by three stages and then just fire off those leech lives which is going to restore you every time you're doing it as well as kind of doing big damage boosted by that stab same type attack bonus and then the ev spread that we've got on this one is going to be 252 hp 252 attack with an adamant nature and the ability swarm as well because none of the other abilities really make too much difference on the low ticks but a really nice choice nonetheless if you need a specific bug type to go in against these terror raid bosses or anything that's particularly weak to bug it gives you a nice option to go in against these terror raid bosses with and make pretty easy work of them with low ticks and it will surprise you how good and effective it can be if you do do this build in your game and you probably guessed the ghost type that we're going to include in this video of course it is going to be annihilate it is one of the best raid solo builds that you can have in the game for a multitude of different pokemon that you're going to come up against but of course as a ghost terror type it is going to be one of the best things that you can pick in the game we've got the shell bell as the item ghost terror typing on their level 100 moveset of drain punch bulk up screech and rage fist 
we have the define ability on this one of course if you are having problems against things that have spall yawn you can go for something like vital spirit on it as well and that will just give you a way around the sleep status condition which we like we keep mentioning is pretty annoying but define's pretty nice if they try and reduce any of the stats on your side of the field then that define ability will proc meaning your attack stat will get boosted two stages every time you take a stat drop so it's a, it's a really nice ability to kind of expedite the damage output that you can do with Annihilate. Basic premise of the moveset is going to be to Screech three times, reduce that defense on the target Pokemon, bulk up uh, two to three times, and then utilize Rage Fist. The nice thing about Rage Fist as well is the power of it increases by 50 base power every time you take an attack, and that kind of accumulates throughout the battle. And if you faint, those buffs to Rage Fist don't get deleted. So as soon as you uh, come back, you'll still have the buffs from every single attack that you've taken before, making it a very, very strong attacking option, especially when you combine it with the Screech and the Bulk Up. Uh, we've got the EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack with an Adamant Nature, but pretty straightforward uh, with the Annihilate and Drain Punch there is an option if you want uh, full recovery as well after you've got set up with the Screech and the Bulk Up combination outside of Rage Fist, uh, but between Rage Fist and Drain Punch, it gives you pretty good coverage against most things that you're going to come up against in the game. Now, the Pokemon that we're going to choose for our dark type is going to be Meow Scarrod. I really like this Pokemon a lot. Grass and dark typing. Obviously, we've got the dark terror typing on there. Shell Belt as the item for that line of recovery. Level 100 and the moveset of Skill Swap. That could be changed out for something like Taunt. But you do get some tricky Pokemon sometimes that have really awkward abilities uh, where they're going to be having Defiant and um, things like a Mirror Armor and other things like that that can be quite annoying to deal with. Whereas if the skill swap you can take those away so you can reduce those defense stats and not have to worry about kind of the the consequences of doing that so but like i say that can be changed out for something like taunt if you prefer but the basic premise is going to be fake tears that's reducing the special defense on the target pokemon by two stages every time you use it then you will move on to using your nasty plot to maximize your special attack by two stages every time you use it and then dog pulse is going to be your big attacking move overgrow is the ability on here you could go for that protein um, but the fact is you probably won't overgrow because you're going to be skill swapping it away so it doesn't really matter if you're skill swapping uh, overgrow onto the target pokemon we've got an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack and a modest nature on the meow scarada but a very nice option for dark type attackers as a solo build in these games a steel type of choice for this video is going to be bronzong a great pokemon steel and psychic typing steel terror typing level 100 with that shell bell item move set is going to be skill swap again a really good utility move just to be able to remove those annoying abilities from target pokemon and then we've got calm mind metal sound and flash cannon now metal sound we have covered on maridon does reduce the special defense by two stages on the raid boss every time you use it then you combine that with that calm mind and, and after you've got about two to three of those off remember you can use six calm minds if you have time to do so but then you just fire off those flash cannons when you have got set up we have got that levitated ability so keep that in mind as well if you're going to go up against steel weak terror types uh, in these raid dens but maybe they have a ground typing attack the levitate is going to be really good against those particular pokemon because their ground stabs aren't really going to be able to touch you at all just don't utilize the skill swap in those matches and uh, we've got an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack Bronzong very good defensively, so you don't really need to worry about that defensive investment too much. Just maximizing this special attack will help out once you've got those calm mines off and those metal sounds off during the battle. And our poison Pokemon for this video is going to be Gengar. So Ghost and Poison type, one of my favorite Pokemon as well. Poison Terror typing, Shell Bell for line of recovery, level 100, and the moveset of Taunt, Nasty Plot, Acid Spray, and Sludge Bomb. EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack with the modest nature and cursed volley ability so the basic premise is again turn one taunt shut down any options for setup or status conditions from the raid boss then go for those acid sprays every turn remember acid spray will work through the shield reducing the special defense on the toggle pokemon by two stages every time you use it then go for your nasty plots boost your special attack up two stages every time you use it to so use three of those and then launch off your sludge bombs and once you terrestrialize you're going to be doing ridiculous damage against anything 
poison week that you come up against these six star terrorites and even though you know gengar is normally quite a frail pokemon you're going to be surprised at how well it can take on some of these six star terrorite bosses it is able to take a decent amount of attacks obviously not as well as some other things but with 252 hp 252 special attack and a modest nature it does a very good job and a great option as a poison type attacker that's got all of those things that you want reducing debuffing stats on the opposing target as well as being able to set up pretty quickly on your end as well the flying type that we've chosen for this video is going to be Corviknight. it is a flying and steel type pokemon we've got the flying terror type on there shell bell is the item of choice but again you can choose something like the expert belt because we do have a line of recovery on the Corviknight, um, and again a level 100 as well we've got the move set of roost this is what i was talking about with the line of recovery so if you want to go for a bit more damage then opt for the expert belt on here as the item choice then we've got screech bulk up and drill peck as the main attacking option for its flying stab attack we've got the mirror armor ability as well so that's going to block any um stat drops on your side of the field really nice ability and kind of bounce them back onto the target pokemon as well uh, we've got an ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack and an adamant nature the basic premise again is going to be just go for those screeches three times if you can get those off remember screech won't work through the shield so try and get them off as soon as possible before that shield goes up then get three to four bulk ups off and then just start launching your your drill pecs and use roost as in when you need to recover health throughout the raid battle but Corviknight a really solid pick and a nice option as a flying type stab uh, for those flying weak pokemon that you're going to come up against dragon type choice is going to be Coriodon. we've covered Moridon as our electric type choice Coriodon is going to be our dragon type choice got the shell bell as the line of recovery level 100 of course and the dragon type terror type sword stand screech dragon claw and drain punch with an ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack preferably with an adamant nature this one might look a little bit different because it has got 252 in defense but that was built specifically for other raids and you can do this this is something to remember you can put the defensive evs into one of those specific stats if you'd like to but because it gives you such good coverage on doesn't matter the special or physical attackers hp is more preferable as you're going up against a wide range of different types that are going to be dragon weak out in the field but like i say 252 hp 252 attack and the basic premise of this like a lot of the other ones is going to be going for that screech as soon as possible then go for those sword stances that's going to boost your attack stat by two stages every time you use it you've got drain punch as an extra line of recovery if you need to and then dragon claw going to be your main option of attack with the coridon and a really nice option as well for a dragon type if you need one going into these terror raid bosses next up is our fairy choice and of course it is going to be azumarill a great raid pokemon very good defensively and has some nice options to set up as well as debuff the opposing terror raid boss shell bell is the item of choice on here you can go citrus berry if you would prefer terror typing is of course fairy level 100 with a move set of misty terrain belly drum tickle and play rough now i will just point out tickle is an egg move so if you need tickle on your azumarill as well as that belly drum you're gonna have to find pokemon with these moves already in your boxes and then just give the mirror herb item to your azumarill make sure you've removed two moves that it's already learned you can just use it for get moves and then set up a picnic with the pokemon that have belly drum tickle azumarill holding the mirror herb item and then it will just transfer those moves across to it so uh, it is a really easy process and you don't need to to breed a whole new one with these egg moves uh you just need to just use the mirror herb to get around that uh the ev spread that we've got for this one is 252 hp 252 attack with an adamant nature huge part is the ability so important that you have that it doubles the attack stat on the azumarill uh, with that huge power just making sure that you can do a lot more damage basic premise of this move set is going to be uh to get that misty terrain up turn one that's going to give you complete immunity to any status conditions that the opponent can throw out at you um, which is really useful again for stopping things like burns things like spores things like yawns and then you can go for that belly drum it's going to maximize your attack stat by six so maximizing it completely it will cut your hp down by half so the next thing you probably want to go for a player rough to utilize that shell bell which will give you 
all of your HP back after the damage from a maximized attack. And then you can utilize Tickle as and when you need to. Tickle reduces the attack and the defensive stat on the target Pokemon by one stage every time you use it. A really useful uh, option to use as well in conjunction with the belly drum and then the player off is going to be your main attacking option that's going to take advantage of that fairy typing on the azumarill especially after you terrestrialize if you've got everything set up perfectly you're going to be knocking things out pretty quickly with the azumarill and a really good option for a fairy type going into these terror raid bosses and yes we haven't duplicated anything we are covering a fighting type going in here we've covered the ghost typing but an eye lip is back because it is just so good at being a solo pokemon for these raid bosses and yes it is going to be our fighting type choice as well of course a different build pretty similar though we've got black belt item on there that is going to boost your fighting type attacks can be the expert belt life orb as well and the move set is going to be rage fist screech bulk up and drain punch pretty similar to the one that we've already covered but the ghost terror typing this one of course has that fighting terror typing on it and an ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack with an adamant nature again with that defined ability and it goes without saying the same things that we talked about in the ghost terror typing annihilate can be adapted to this one if you want vital spirit to get around anything that can put you to sleep or stuff like that then vital spirit is the optimal choice here but defined always a very good ability just to expedite that attack stat again you're gonna go for those screeches turn one to three then those bulk ups turn four to six and then just launch your drain punches off which is gonna give you that health recovery as well as doing some big damage to the opposing target as well and um, we've covered the ev spread and the uh, nature but that is the annihilate in a nutshell but just with that fighting terror type rather than the ghost terror typing now i did mention earlier on in the video i was going to cover all of the 18 typings that we have covered i haven't covered the normal typing yet we'll get to that in a moment but as well as that you do get some six star terror raid bosses that are pretty awkward to come up against one of them in particular is corviknight it has that mirror armor ability so you can't really debuff its stats um, and that makes it a bit of a problem as well as that it does normally carry things like bulk up as well so it can get our horn claws uh, so it can get pretty powerful really quickly and start doing some big damage to you while you're not really able to get the kind of damage that you want onto it now some pokemon that i've picked out that are going to be very good against the Corviknight are going to be the bronzong i feel like bronzong is going to resist all of its big attack and moves body press uh, it's brave birds anything like that you're going to be able to resist with the steel and psychic typing now we've got two bronzongs the other one we have featured so if you're going up against the corviknight that can be hit neutrally from a steel type attacks then you use the one that we've already covered but if you're coming up against a one that's maybe a water type corviknight as well it could be a little bit trickier then rely on the psychic one because between the psychic terror type and the steel terror type bronzongs that we feature in this video no cover is going to be really too difficult for you to beat we've got the shell bell item on it as a line of recovery as always level 100 and then the psychic terror type on this one steel type on the other one now this one's going to differ slightly from the other bronzong that we featured but against that specific cover we've got 252 hp 252 special attack with a modest nature the whole premise of going up against a cover is to steal that mirror armor ability turn one so you want to skill swap turn one before the shield goes up if the shield is up you can't use skill swap so it's really important that you kind of stay healthy and you don't faint uh, so you can keep that mirror armor ability right um but the mirror armor as soon as you stole it off the covenant with the skill swap it's not going to get it back for the remainder of the battle making it a lot easier to go up against then you can go for those iron defenses then you can go for those calm mines and then you can launch those stored powers which is going to do a huge amount of damage to the covenant after that and the the similar thing works with the other bronzong as well that we featured in the video where you're going to be able to just go for that turn one skill swap steal that mirror armor then go for the metal sounds onto the Corviknight. not need to worry about the mirror armor ability uh, kind of preventing these drops then you can go for your calm mines and then launch off the flash cannon so it just depends on the terror typing of the Corviknight. but between these two bronzongs you're going to have no trouble against them at all the other pokemon that we do have sometimes issues with is annihilate now for this one we're going up with wigglytuff because i do feel like wigglytuff depending on the terror typing of the annihilate it's a really nice option 
option if it is an annihilate with the terror typing that can be heat either neutrally with fairy type attacks or super effectively with fairy type attacks so we've got the expert belt item on this wiggly tuff but the main thing that we're going to be looking out for is that skill swap because we want to be taking away that defined ability on the annihilate so that's what we would do turn one uh, you can change draining kiss to dazzling gleam but the draining kiss if you do change it to dazzling gleam i would replace the expert belt with the shell belt item um but you're gonna want to after you've skill swapped away the defined ability on the annihilate go for those fake tiers reduce that special defensive stat down by minus six after three of those then go for your call mines set yourself up so you're boosting your special attack on the wiggly tough and then you can go for either those dazzling gleams or the draining kisses the draining kiss is going to give you recovery every time you use it so it's a really nice option against an eye with an ev spread here of 252 hp 252 special attack with a modest nature and it's just an alternative option if you do come across an eye and it is sometimes one of the more tricky six star terrorists to come up against because it is generally quite bulky and it having that defined ability with the coverage of rage fist as well which is going to get more powerful every time you do attack into an eye and also the big fighting type attacks that can be a bit of an issue as well on there fairy terror typing on this wiggly tough but like i said the principles of taking away the defiant with the skill swap and then being able to kind of play off debuffing its stats while boosting your own is going to be something that you're going to try and do to the annihilate to make that specific six star terror raid a lot easier to deal with and the other two pokemon that we did mention at the start of the video were amoongus and also don dozo now amoongus is really annoying for the fact that it has spore right and it also has access to foul play which can be really annoying to deal with especially if you are boosting your own attacking stat foul play plays off your attack stat rather than the opposing pokemon that's using it so if you're using a pokemon like hariyama and you have something like belly drum then the foul play is coming off a attack stat that's at maximized potential so you know it's going to be doing a lot of damage the other thing that's annoying about amoongus is that it's got spore so you really want to be taunting it or you can play off the fact that you can utilize something with electric terrain misty terrain or you can use a pokemon with the guts ability with the flame orb or toxic orb if you want so you're not uh, affected by any status conditions which makes it a lot easier to deal with and the other thing to mention as well you can utilize the safety goggles item as well so that is something that you can utilize on any one of your pokemon against amoongus that will make it a lot easier to deal with but try and use more uh, special attackers than those physical attackers because of the foul play now the dondozo i feel like there are two particular builds that can do really really well against Dondozo. Dondozo does have Yawn, so that's something that you want to have to have consideration against. But I feel like Hariyama is a great Pokemon to go up against Dondozo. Uh, you've got the Sunny Day to weaken the Wave Crashes coming out from it. It will try and set up Rain Dance so you can nullify that with your own Sunny Day. Uh, you've got Belly Drum to maximize your attacking stat and you have the Flame Orb, which is gonna make it not able to Yawn you. Uh, you're not gonna be affected by the Sleep Condition because you're gonna be burned. And then you're gonna be able to do big damage with your Drain Punches especially if it's super effective against it you're going to be able to run through the raid pretty easily and then utilize thunder punch as well it does get other coverage so you can go for those if it's more preferable in that slot but the basic premise is going to be turn one belly drum then go for your sunny day to weaken those wave crashes and then just fire off the attacks that are more preferable in that situation there's a ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack with an adamant nature and just make sure you have that guts ability when you are attaching that flame orb a bit like the saluna as well that we've already covered and another good pokemon that's going be good against on dozo that i found really effective against it is going to be iron hands i had to squeeze this pokemon in here somewhere fighting and electric typing we've got fighting terror typing on this citrus berry is the option uh, for held item although you can change that for something like shell bell if you prefer uh, and the move set of electric terrain belly drum thunder punch and drain punch ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack with an adamant nature we have that cork drive ability now the reason why this is quite good against on dozo is because you have that electric terrain so you don't need to worry about the yawns i think the yawn is probably the biggest threat from don dozo in my opinion because it slows you down it prevents you being able to kind of consistently get good damage onto the field uh, especially if you're hitting those drain punches for a recovery or you know anything like that um and the yawns really disrupt your kind of flaw in game but with the electric train up if you set that up turn one 
uh, then you're going to be immune to yawn. It might be preferable to go for belly drum turn one, uh, get that maximizer stat, then set your electric terrain up so you're not susceptible to being put to sleep, and then fire off your attacking options, drain punch, thunder punch, until you can terrestrialize, and then just cut through the dondos are pretty easily like that. But that is the 22 builds that we are featuring today. The only one that we haven't covered yet is obviously Arceus. We covered a whole video on Arceus already on the channel, but in case you missed that and if you need a normal type, the reason why we're not really covering normal types on the channel is because normal doesn't hit anything for super effective damage. So you don't really need a normal type ever. Uh, but Arceus has the ability to be any type with any one of the 17 plates that you can get access to in the game. If you want to check out that video on Arceus, then you can, I'll link it up in the top right hand corner for you here. But Arceus is going to be a normal type. It's probably one of the best ones that you can get as well as one of the best options for pretty much most types in the game. So the reason for this video was I could have, yes, just done Arceus as the best type for all of these, but not everyone has access to this exclusive Pokemon from Pokemon Legends Arceus or BDSP. You've got some players that are brand new to Scarlet and Violet and don't have access to these older Pokemon yet. So these selection of builds give you coverage for everything that you're going to need to come up against in six or terrors. But if you do have an Arceus, it does give you an extra kind of helping hand in situations where you might not want to bring some of the other options. Um, and you can just change the plate, the item on it to change its typing. The, the move set, of course, is going to be Recover, Calm Mind, Acid Spray and Judgment, 252 HP, 252 Special Attack, Modest Nature with the ability Multi-Type, which changes its type depending on the plate that it's holding. But if you just want that normal type then you can just hold the shell bell for a nice line of recovery but that is everything that we're going to cover in today's video and i hope that you found these builds useful but with all of them together if you build them in your game you're going to have perfect coverage against any terror type that you're going to come up against the, specifically those six star terror raid bosses that can be a little bit problematic at times and it's going to make grinding for Herba Mystica, level up candies and everything else that you get from these higher star rated terror raids a lot easier in your game. So thank you so much for tuning in friends. Have a great rest of your day. I hope like I've said this is a useful guide for you but it's a collective all together. Every single Pokemon that I feel covers every type is in one place and it's something that you can refer back to if you find it's going to be useful for friends that you've got that like terror raids and soloing in game then share this video with them it really will help the video out do drop a like if it has been useful subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourself and bye bye